We're still doing vlogs? <laughs> oh shoot, the camera's rolling. Well, we're doing vlogs. Shh, we gotta open the video. We gotta stop yeah, talking about stop it. Stop talking. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I don't know how to start it. Mom V's better at this. <laughs> you should do it. And why did you ask? Help me, Rhonda. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Beehive. Yes, we're vlogging today because I did not have a video planned today because this weekend was very busy with prom and all. So, anyways, Blake and I are actually headed out to... Tar River Flea Market. Tar River Flea Market. It's technically a mini mall. Yeah, it's like a mini mart kind of thing. So, we're going to go there and we might just find something. I don't know. But we're going to go and then I think i got to swing into Food Line if that's alright. Yeah. So, anyways. I should take it out though. Should have taken that a small already. tad bit. Of That's why I grabbed the drink. Right? Yeah. Um. We have something at home when we get back. I think we should share with the viewers that we got in the mail. What do you think? Cool. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty awesome, right? So yeah, we got something in the mail we want to share with you guys. So, but in the meantime, Blake and I are gonna go to the mart. Everybody else didn't want to go. Nobody really was ready. I think Blake and I are the only two that have gotten showers today, right? I got up and got ready because I expected something to happen. I got my hopes up technically for yeah. something that wasn't going to happen. You know, I know some of you other people out there are younger like me. And then you ask your parents to do something with you, get out there, and then they just say maybe or don't get your sure. hopes up. But then you still get your hopes up anyways because <laughs> you really want to do it. Yeah, but we don't like to make promises we can't keep because... Boy, if you do that, the kids really love to call you out on that. So, don't make promises you can't keep because then you'll have to explain yourself. But, anyways, what are you trying to look for today at the flea market, you know? Just look to look, really. Look to look, or you want the Hot Wheels? Nothing specific. I just want to look, honestly. You just want to look? Something to look at. Something to do. We might go, I don't know, Dad and I might go fishing later. It's 72 degrees outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so glad the weather is changing. And spring break's coming soon. Very excited for that. Well, you'll have some days off at school, so you'll be excited for that, right? Of course. So, yeah, we're uh, going to be seeing Grandmother. You guys have been watching a while. Knows that my grandmother is like, what? Is Grandma 93? 93 or 94, you guys. I think she's 93. I think she'll be 94 this June. But, anyways, yeah, we're gonna go see her and uh, my aunt, my mom's mom. And we're going to the ocean. But before we go, I gotta do skate and its maintenance, which is technically just uh, fixing up my skates because I mm -hmm. planned to bring those. If hopefully I'll be able to ride them. From oh, yeah. what they have said, I should be able to ride them. Yeah, I think you will. The only thing is I'm worried about is like the boardwalk, like it's wood. So, uh, uh, we'll what was that see. concrete part? They do have an area that's like concrete. Usually on off season, down at the boardwalk, they let you do things that they don't normally let you do when they're on season when it's really crowded. So, we'll see. We'll see what the rules are, what's going on. Or Charlie said, he wanted to rent some scooters and ride on the boardwalk. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, right? Yeah. What if you couldn't rollerblade, but you could do like a scooter where you stand up on it? You want to do that? Yeah. So. I'll bring my skates in just in case. We won't build a swim, but we will go to the beach. And I'm thinking about taking my camera to get some nice beach shots of the kids. Which, yeah. So. All right, we're gonna go. Maybe we'll show you guys some things and get home and share with them something really cool we got in the mail. All right, so we only found a couple things. You want to show them what you got? Sure. Didn't take the camera in. We kind of got here late. It's I tied actually... the bag game over. Oh, you did. It um, <laughs> <laughs> they were closing at five, and it's like four right now. So anyways. we'll get here earlier next week. You think? Yeah, for sure. So I got two cars i got a special edition toyota mr2 now i was shocked uh at the fact that this was in a box full with a bunch of other cars and it wasn't or its paint wasn't tore up and yeah. the wheels are in pretty good condition too they are a tad bit loose mm -hmm. a small bit but on the other side it's pretty nice and then i also bought this one just because i saw it 
this thing had some weird rims. It is a Pontiac Fiero, uh, I think this is like a, some kind of race car edition yeah. of it. There's no, no, there's no info or anything on the bottom. It's one of the older Matchboxes, so it just says Matchbox Pontiac Fiero and then Matchbox 95 What year? And all. 85? No, this isn't a 85 Camaro. I think the Camaro came. No, what year was it uh, released? Oh, what? this car? Yeah. Well, it's not a Camaro. I just called it a Camaro. It is Fiero, Fiero Camaro. But I think it came out around like maybe the end of the 80s. Yeah. And yeah. near the early 90s, somewhere like that. I'm not too good when it comes to more American made cars or uh, I guess somewhat of an import. I'm better on the Japanese imports. Like I'm pretty positive. This was like a 90s MR2, second edition, mm -hmm. something like that. All right guys, so Blake and I are on our way home, but while we're on our way home, I'm actually gonna put a clip in here of our surprise that I was telling you about, because I was able to film the kids getting the surprise and getting their real reaction. And then after you see that, we'll come back and talk more about it. I got a special package in the mail. I didn't actually even know it was coming. Disclaimer, this was sent to us for free, so thank you so much Nintendo for sending this over to us. But I'm gonna let Blake have a quick sneak peek, and then we're gonna let Ben when he gets home. Oh, <laughs> let's first off read the note we got here. Hi R3Bs, in this package you will find everything you need to become a Pokemon trainer, including Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and Pokeball Plus, which is the real life Pokeball. Yes, so what's in the box? <laughs> so we got a few hats. Look at this. These are so so cool. No, hold on, hold that one up. I didn't see it. This is Blake's favorite character, Evie, right? This is my hat. All right. This is Ben's hat, and Brooke is a hat. Awesome. So, next off, we got us a Pokeball for the game, which this is the real life <laughs> Pokeball that you can use. Let me see it. Open it up, actually. Go ahead and open it up. It says Pokeball Plus. Yeah. Oh, disclaimer, do not throw. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, oh, that's neat. So on it, it shows you got the legendary birds. Mm -hmm. And then you got, I'm pretty sure those are called, uh, it's like this butterfly Pokemon. I can't remember the yeah. name of it. It might be Butterfree. But yeah. That's why I can't remember. You got the cord for it, which you use to charge the ball. Sharing right here on this fantastic image. <laughs> I don't know if it charges. It might be part of the game. Because it shows it that it's... It's part of the game. Is it really? You use it with the game, yes. Oh, no way. It's like a Wii remote. You strap it on and can actually throw it. You're kidding. This no. is amazing. That's All right. works from what I see. Oh, it's already on? Is it... It might already have like a little bit of a charge. Oh, look, it's blinking. Oh, feel it. It actually feels really great. Oh, yeah, that's really neat. All right, what else is in the box? Come on, come on. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> We got us a Pikachu. Awesome. I'm taking the plushies. They're both yeah, I know. Blake is plushy. Uh, he loves plushies. Last but not least, the one that I'm liking the most. <laughs> oh, man. Nintendo knows me well. That is so awesome. Is that it? That's all? No. No? We got a few more. Okay, here we go. These are the main thing. Now, see, we got sent Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, but... Let's go Eevee's there too. They oh. sent us both the games to try. For the Switch, you guys, Nintendo, thanks for hooking us up. Guys, <laughs> I'm new Ash Ketchum. Instead of Pikachu though, I got Eevee. Oh, you're going Eevee style. Yeah, this is the new, oh shoot. <laughs> this is how we play Pokemon. I won't say on my show. <laughs> That's all right. Come here, Ben. Come look on the table. <laughs> what do you think, man? Whoa. Isn't that cool? What do you think about that? We got two Switch games. That's, this is the Pokeball right here. It's like a, a controller that you use in your hand. Isn't that neat? <laughs> so yeah, we all got to so play it. So much merch! Isn't that neat? Yeah. I'm, I'm keeping the Pikachu. Oh, it's <laughs> Oh, it's Princess Little Girl. Miss Mamas. Oh, you miss your mamas. She looks tired. Yeah. All right, so now that you've seen what we got, thank you so much, Nintendo, 
for sending that little package to us. Uh, we actually have, what game did we put in to play? Uh, the Eevee one. Pokemon Go Eevee? Is that what it is? Yeah. And so, yeah, we've been playing this. Blake's been... Stray. <laughs> Blake's been uh, helping us out, but right, he's trying to get a Weeble. A Weeble? Is that what it's called? A Weeble? I don't know. And he's using the Pokeball to ca catch it. You can do it, Blake. Even though we already have one of these. I don't know why you're trying to go <laughs> and get but another it's one. Huge. Oh! Tell me what it said. It had a special effect around it. It actually was like a different kind or it leveled up higher? Huge. Oh, okay. It had like some weird glowing effect circling around it when I came through it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, look at the height. Large. Oh, cool. Alright, what are you going after now? Actually, it was the bird that was circled. That was a sparrow. That was a wild A wild pigeon. pigeon. Yeah, we don't want to. We already have plenty of pigeons. He's trying to get the pigeon up. There's a Pokeball right there, look. No, that's not a Pokeball. What is it? What is a Pokeball? It is right there. There we go. Look, uh huh. You're welcome. I found. The bird with the glow and stuff right. Oh yeah, the Come Are you serious? Did he run away? Move around to the other side. Every back. Oh yeah, we're going for that. Oh, you hit it again. No, we're going for that. Oh, this is Pikachu. Guys, just turn from let's go eat and let's go eat the shoot. <laughs> See how good of a shot he is. Wow! Dude, that's crazy. You act like you've played this game before. It's not gonna be okay. I think Blake has owned every Pokemon game. He is a huge Pokemon fan. Not everyone. There's too many of them all, honestly. There is too many of them. But yeah. we're so happy Nintendo sent us these to add to the collection. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Charlie, me, and Blake, we've been playing to see who can catch the most Pokeballs. How many of you call it? Pokemon. Pokemon balls. <laughs> no, just Pokemon. I play Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think I caught three. You caught three? Yeah. Oh, I keep calling them Pokeballs. And he's like, no, they're Pokemon. <laughs> Pokeballs are what they go with. All right, so explain to us like kind of how this game works, Blake. So you get a Pokeball. Right. Which here. Well, and you don't need that to play the game. You can use the actual Joy-Con. Yeah, you can way. use the Joy-Con. But when you're in a, the catch one, it's technically like Pokemon Go. Right, where you throw the... You have to throw it and line up with the circle. You got raspberries and all that. You can use to strengthen the catch rate, really. Right, right. Oh, yeah, so then you can actually catch them. I don't know, it's really cool. You go around the map and you catch Pokemon. And then you have to like heal your Pokemon that you carry with you, right? Like you have the Eevee because this is the Eevee version of the game, is that right? So we had the Pokemon or the Pikachu one. Will it be Pikachu on that one? Yeah. Do any of you guys play the Pokemon games? This has been a lot of fun. We've been playing it probably for a little over an hour now. Trying to learn it, Blake has taught us quite a bit, so. Oh, you gave it a raspberry. That helps the catch rate, right? Yeah. So hopefully when you throw the ball now, because you've been excellent before and it didn't catch it. That's why. Nice. All right, so what are you doing now, Blake? I'm in a battle. You're in a battle. Basically, he's battling this other guy against his Pokemon, right? Yeah. Which is a Weeble, so it's an Eevee against a Weeble, right? Oh no, you're poisoned. Well, luckily we had an antidote. He actually found those in like the leaves and stuff. Double kill. Oh, it didn't work that time. Oh no. It didn't do anything? Like he totally blocked it? Oh man, you stomped him with your foot. How do you know which thing to use, Blake? Oh, okay. Oh, you got him. You combine certain moves so you can get some crazy types of things like yeah. certain moves combined with each other make overpower things on Really? And okay. You probably, probably some of the strongest moves you could ever see taking things out left and right. Right. All right, guys. Well, what a fun day uh, Blake and I had. Nobody else actually did anything. What did y'all do today? What? Nothing. Nothing. How was your prom last night? It was fun. That's the best one ever, didn't you say? Yeah, y'all had a good time. Haley left your flowers here. Haley left everything. 
I know she left her corsage. Does she want to keep any of that? I've kept it all just in case. Just in case, yeah. Flowers ben, what you got to eat there for your midnight snack? A peanut butter sandwich. Yum. I bought these today, Brooke. To make you know what? Pastel. So I'm gonna make this tomorrow. It'll be in the fridge for you tomorrow. Blake, open up this thing. Mm. Why do people open up the can package like this? Like this is doing no good here. All right, they're just gonna roll out. Blake, anyways, anybody ever have the Baja Blast? This is one of Blake's favorite Mountain Dew. But he says it's seasonal. It only comes out every so often. I don't know. It's Pepper. Get it, Pepper. No wonder she climbs the wall. You're teaching her to. It's a little too hot. Bring it down lower. She she's, just got it. She's afraid to jump that hot brook. See, she's afraid. See, now she'll jump. <laughs> no, she didn't. That's why I was like, come on. Mm-hmm. Oh, Pepper. Being such she's, a good girl. She's, no, she's bad. I had to kick her out of my room. What was she doing? She was eating the flowers. She was eating the corsages. <laughs> she was eating the bag that I have to put my dress back in. So I was like, no, no, get out. Not Pepper. Not yeah, precious. That's innocent right there. Innocent Pepper. Oh, she's just my foot. No, she's in a playful mood right now, too. Well, guys, that's actually going to end today's video. Tomorrow's Monday, and this week is a busy week. Ben has a couple test days this week that I don't know if he knows about, but it's their last benchmarks for the year. Then he also has an induction ceremony for the Junior Beta Club on oh Thursday. God, it's been, like, yeah, and uh, it's just the time of the year. It's just that time of year. When it comes to an end, it's just so busy. But anyways, all right guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you. Like Thank you so much for watching. Like Please subscribe if you're new. Hi, <laughs> And don't forget to. <laughs> now you got it. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>